गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर पार्ट सिक्स ऑन द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिसर्च सो टूडे वील बी डीलिंग विथ दी अनदर वेराइटी ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम विच इज अ थेरोटिकल क्वेश्चन इन एडिशन टू दैट वी नीड टू फॉर्मुलेट द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी हैव टू सॉल्व द सेम बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड ओके सो लेट एस सी एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी मैन्युफैक्चरर्स टू टाइप्स ऑफ ए लेदर बेल्ट्स ए एंड बी both belts require the same length of the leather per belt and both belts use different kinds of a buckles okay there is a xyz company which is manufacturing a uh, two types of a leather belts a and b and they use different kinds of a buckles okay the supply of leather is sufficient to make 800 belts per day hmm? both types included so the uh, leather uh, uh, constant is given which is Uh, we can uh, use up to 800 belts uh, per one day hmm? the number of buckles available for a and b type are 300 per day and 650 per day respectively so this is the constraint on the buckles earlier the constraint was on the leather now the constraint is on the buckles okay now each belt of a type a requires twice as much time as the required by a belt b okay belt belt of the type a requires uh, two times as as much as the time uh, required by the belt b to manufacture okay so type a is taking more time than the type b so the speed of the production is such that in the absence of any constraint with regard to the buckles and leather the company would be able to produce Thousand belts of type B per day, if only belt B is manufactured. See, uh, listen carefully. If we manufacture only belt B, okay, the company can able to produce thousand number of belts of type B. Okay, if we are manufacturing only belt B. So what will happen if we manufacture only type A of the belts? See, the condition is given here. uh what will it do okay here each belt of type a requires two times twice as much time as required by the belt b okay so in order to manufacture belt of type a it is taking two times uh, more time than the time taken by the belt b so that is why if we produce only belt b if we are getting 1000 number of belts per day Uh, then what will happen if we manufacture only type a belts it is 500 because it is taking two times more time than the type b no so if the type b is manufacturing 1000 uh, number of belts type a we can manufacture only 500 number of belts because type a will take two times more time than the type b i hope this is understood fine so now The, the profit margin for belt A is zero point four rupees per belt, and uh, for the belt B is zero point three rupees for the belt. Set up the LP problem and solve the same graphically. Okay, so here uh, very clear that uh, this problem is associated with respect to the profit. Hence, we need to maximize the Z. That is, objective function is to maximize. then uh, how to uh, you know uh, give the uh, decision variables hmm? how to allot the decision variables see here uh, here type a type b belts are there and the profit is given with respect to type a belt and type b belt so definitely our uh, decision variable will be uh, type a belt and type b belt so here let x1 be the belts of type a produced and x2 will will be the belts of the type b produced hmm? and definitely profit margins are given our objective function can be written as maximizing the 0.4x1 plus 0.3x2 why 0.4x1 because x1 is nothing but what belt of type a how much profit we get per belt that is 0.4 rupees if we manufacture x1 quantity of the belt we get x1 into 0.4 times uh, 
uh, that profit uh, we will get hmm? similarly x2 is the decision variables for belt b and belt b is 0.3 rupees profit per belt hence it is 0.3 times x2 okay i hope that is clear that is maximizing the uh, objective function okay next uh, see here next constants as i explained in the question that uh, here two kinds of a constants are given one is associated with respect to the belt that is uh, sorry uh, leather uh, uh, supply leather supply is a one constraint and supply of the uh, buckles okay or the number of buckles available for type a and type b that is the buckle constraint is given with respect to both kinds of a type a and type b belts that's why there are two kinds of a constraints here and one more constraint is with respect to time also here hmm? because uh, the belt a is taking two times more time than the belt b if a belt b is taking one uh, minute of time then belt a takes two minutes of time fine okay so now the leather constraint so both kinds of a leather addition you can use it only 800 uh, belts per day hmm? whether it is type a or type b whatever you use in addition to uh, those uh, kinds of a belts a and b you may have uh, 800 number of belts per day that is both types included okay so x1 plus x2 is less than or is equal to 800 you can use a type a belt or type b belt or both the belts you can use it for only 800 quantity of the belts then buckle constraints see type a you can use it only 300 uh, buckles per day hence x1 should not be more than that no that's why it is less than or is equal to 300 only 300 buckles of type a is available and type b buckles are only uh, we can use it for 650 numbers hmm? not more than that that that's why x2 is also less than or is equal to 650 then coming to the time constraint if a belt b is alone produced it cannot cross thousand belts as it is explained here that uh, the company would be able to produce thousand belts of type b if only b is manufactured that's why if you take type a zero type b thousand fine then since belt A requires twice as much time as required for belt B, this means that when X2 is 0, means if type B quantities are 0, then type A we can manufacture only 500 because it is taking two times more time than the type B. Okay, so that's why if type B is 0, type A we can manufacture 500. So here type A is nothing but X1. Type B is nothing but X2, decision variables. Now, in order to satisfy the above condition, that is these two conditions, only these two conditions, uh, that inequality has to be written as like this. See, this equation why we have written is, now just check the these values. Okay, If you put X1 0, see here, if you put X1 0, X2 is what? Simply 1000. Okay, And if you put X2 0 here, then 2x1 is equal to 1000 means x1 is equal to 500. So in order to satisfy these two conditions, the equation we can write in the form of 2x1 plus x2 is less than or is equal to 1000. Okay. So now this is the uh, formulation of LPP is done. Okay. We have formulated LPP that is maximized Z we have written, subjected to the constraints we have written. Okay. There are how many constraints? This is this this is the constraint with respect to leather, and these two are the constraint with respect to buckles, and this is the constraint with respect to time, and this is what a non-negativity condition. Fine. Okay. Now let us see the constraint number one. So what is the first step in uh, solving the problem with the help of LPP is that that is you have to convert the inequality sign into uh, equal sign then put one quantity zero that is if you put x1 zero x2 will be 800 directly 
if x2 is 0 x1 is 800 okay then constraint 2 uh, it is x1 is 300 simply x1 is 300 means x2 is 0 hmm? uh, this should be x2 okay this should be x2 if x1 is 300 x2 uh, it means that it is 0 then constraint number 3 here x2 is equal to 650 it means that x1 is equal to 0 hmm? here there is a mistakes are there okay here make it x2 0 here make x1 0 hmm? then constant number 4 that is 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 1000 so these are the two values okay see the same two values are written here also hmm? this is already solved one now what is the next step you have to draw the graph by taking these all four values okay four constants see here they have solved the uh, sorry they have drawn the graph here okay by taking the values you just draw this graph then let us identify the solution space now hmm. what will be the solution space here you can see uh, this equation is also less than or is equal to see everything is less than or is equal to only hmm. see whenever the uh, equation has less than or is equal to that is inequality has less than or is equal to what you need to do is you have to take the solution space near to the origin hmm? if it is greater than or is equal to it is away from the origin okay see this is near to the origin less than or is equal to greater than or is equal to if you get this is away from the origin like this hmm? so this is the way you need to solve now all the constraints are with respect to uh, less than or is equal to only that is why this is the solution space See, this solution space uh, satisfies all the conditions, right? See, this is this space is less than or is equal to this. This space is less than or is equal to this. And this space is less than or is equal to this. And less than or is equal to this. And uh, I also told you in the very first video that how to get the solution space. Hmm? So, see, uh, one more uh, time I will confirm you that how to get the solution space. See, if I take this much from here to here if I make a solution like this that is rectangle a rectangular form then at this particular point hmm, see this equation not satisfies this equation doesn't satisfy only this will satisfy and this these two straight lines will satisfy this particular point but not these two that's why you have to very clear with the solution space so once you get the solution space next what you need to do make a corners uh, this is origin anyway here the values will be 0 0 this is the first corner second corner third corner fourth corner and fifth corner so whatever the x and y values are there so uh, here you have made x1 and x2 whatever the x1 and x2 values are there for each and every corner of these five you should get the x1 x2 values then you have to put in the z equation see here solution by best of all the corners method see uh, the very first corner see here here definitely x1 is 0 x2 is 650 here just put in the main equation of z okay z is what uh, uh, it is 0.4 x1 plus 0.3 x2 see here it is there 0.4 x1 plus 0.3 x2 so in if you put uh, there you will get z as 195 okay then second corner uh, it is uh, x2 x1 is 150 x2 is 650 x1 is see x1 how to get see, draw the very straight line here and here will be 150 so if you put like this you will get uh, all the corners and put all the corner values in the z that is in this equation for each and every corner values you will get the uh, five z values five corners five z values so here you need to take the maximum value of a z see here this is 195 uh, 255 260 240 120 among the five values of z this will be the maximum value of a z that's why this is the solution z is equal to 260 is the maximizing the z and corresponding x1 x2 values are the coordinates Okay, so this is the solution.